Here's how we can measure the density of a liquid. To do this, we need two things, the mass of the liquid and the volume of the liquid. But you can't put a liquid on a scale. We have to use an extra step. First, find the mass of the empty beaker, 50.0 grams. When you pour in the liquid, the reading on the scale will increase. This is the mass of the beaker and the liquid. To find the mass of just the liquid, you have to subtract. So the mass of the empty beaker was 50.0 grams. The mass of the beaker and the liquid together had a mass of 99.9 .9 grams. Do the subtraction, and the mass of just the water is 49.9 grams. Now we need a volume. First, determine the scale. To go up 40 to 60, there are two lines. Each line is worth 10. The meniscus is reading at 50 milliliters. Density is mass divided by volume. The mass is 49.9 grams, and the volume is 50 milliliters. Work, that works out to 0 0.998 grams per milliliter, which we can round to approximately 1.0 grams per milliliter. Here's one you can try. You can work out the density of acetone. Here's the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. We add the acetone and get the new mass. Don't forget to subtract. Final step is to get the volume. First, determine the scale. To go up 20 to 25, there are 10 lines. So each line is worth 0.5. Read from the lowest point of the meniscus, right at 20 milliliters. 0.5. 